Good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third and final installment of AFR Season Number Seven, Round Fifteen, around the Temple of Speed. It is, of course, the Monza Circuit, and what two great races we've already had here this evening. Two more to come, of course, with the real-life title decider in Yas Marina in a few hours from now. Five point eight kilometers, eleven turns, three point five miles, and two DRS zones into turns one and eight to assist with some overtaking around. This very, very high speed circuit where drivers are at full throttle for 80% of the lap. At the start of season five, Farmer Sam Keeper and Ivers getting a bit tangled up in what was one of the fastest retirements and virtual safety cars in AFR history being deployed almost within seconds of the starting lights going out. And lots of uh, five second time penalties to boot for those in the midfield. Also, now season five, the two title contenders from that season, Stars and Simdog, going side by side through turns one and two. The Retifilio chicane, Simdog is squeezing Stars under the grass on the right hand side towards the Curva Grande, turn number three. But Stars and that Mercedes able to keep the car facing the right way. A few laps later in that very same race, Simdog found out the hard way what happens when you push a bit too hard through that first Lesmo. You find the barrier on the right hand side side and that was a swift end to any hopes and dreams the Williams car had of finishing on the top step of the podium in that championship fight. Also now at the Ascari chicane lights a couple of seasons ago uh, showing us what happens when you touch that inside curb at the exit of uh, turn number 10 that is a very very aggressive curbing and uh, the Alfa Romero of lights they're trying to stay well and truly out of the way of all oncoming traffic and we've seen already this evening a lot of drivers struggling with that very very technical section of the track. Now joining me as always, it's my good friend, Mr. Sebastian. Seb, how are you doing ahead of the third and final race around Monza this evening? I am very, very excited, Mick. Not just for this race, with our 15 Tier 2 drivers, but, uh, well, finale to the F1 season. Hamilton versus Verstappen. Verstappen versus Hamilton. It's going to be a good one, and I, I can't wait. It's been a while since I've seen a uh, genuine championship battle. And, uh, well, well, it's come down to the wire today. It most certainly has. Now, unfortunately, we do have that little bit of a timing uh, issue again on our end. Because it looks like Vassar <laughs> is on I can a, see that. a flying lap at the moment. So don't be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but uh, we haven't missed too much this time, I don't think. 16 minutes and 5 seconds left now. So We're getting there. Minute and a half this time. Give or take. Pepsi is the first one out. He will be... First driver to start a lap, our championship leader, who hasn't had a great run of things the past five rounds. Uh, three points scoring positions, one podium, and then two finishes outside the top ten. Uh, he leads by 42 points, but Ando three wins on the trot now. Uh, meaning that the Yasamon is catching up, and Pepsi needs to uh, pull his head out. Make sure he maintains a uh, somewhat comfortable championship lead. Well, why don't you take us around the rest of this lap with the Ferrari driver? I mean, it's Monza. Why not? Let's go. Second Variante. Take it away, sir. Yeah. Della Rogia. Avoid these curves. You know, in the last game, you could very much take them, but this game, you can't. See how just clipping that inside orange curb of turn five just kind of rotated that car a bit more around it. Inside curb of the first Lesmo into the second. Hit that inside curb once again and then get all the way outside, slamming that throttle down. DRS open. Tight to the left and straight line it all the way to the braking zone of turn 8, 9 and 10 of the Alberto Ascari chicane. Hopefully Stars is watching. He'll be very proud of what I've just said there. Here comes Pepsi. Uh, the Ascari, very easy to lose it during the race. Very easy to lose it in qualifying as well, pushing limits, especially on that run from turn 9 to 10. Now braking at that DRS detection line into turn 11, Parabolica, also known as over Alboreto, which I struggle to uh, say and remember to say, because I'm too used to the Parabolica, but Pepsi, 21-2. And those medium tires, he accelerate, just pops up behind him. Two tens off, and Psycho on the softs. Also jumping Pepsi is King J. Half a tenth behind Psycho. Your fellow Alva Terry driver, Mikhail. Yes, a Psycho had a uh, bit of a disappointing run of form recently. The quality pace has definitely been there, but the race has uh, eluded him in the past two rounds, picking up uh, not only uh, a couple of retirements, but also quite a few penalty points as well, which you hate to see. But uh, nevertheless, what else you... Another thing you hate to see is uh, a spun-around Haas, and that is Kalios at the exit of turn 10. 
finding the barrier, similar way that Lights did a couple of seasons ago. A couple of seasons ago, indeed. And as you can tell, there are clouds up above these T2 drivers, but it is still going to be dry. Dry session is banned, confirms in the chat for a dry race. Ando Kart chucking it on pole by tenth and a bit. Uh, three times back to back winner so far this season. He's won four races, yeah. seven podiums to his name, and uh, he'll be looking to improve on that, won't he? Ando has been on outstanding form. Recently, of course, three race wins on the trot. Can he make it four? Leave your predictions in the chat. Uh, I say he can. I say he can as well. Definitely has that in him, but Band absolutely um, murdering that turn four curb on his first <laughs> flying lap. Clearly. He does not care about floor damage at all. Hopefully he has that ride height high enough that doesn't affect his floor. The Dragon certainly making the track his own. Pushing now. DOS open for the Papaya McLaren. Into a scar yeah. he goes, looking for that 100 meter board as he goes down the gears, 5th gear, 4th gear. You just see that the front end just didn't quite grip up for him as he runs very, slightly wide. Well, very wide. Very, uh, yeah. yeah, very understeering. Getting a little bit of a toe from Anacat in the Aston Martin on provisional pole. Albeit very early on in the session after the first one, getting that banker out. But here comes Band, not using all of the track to his disposal and missing the apex a bit, but qualifying's ever been his strong suit. Tucks it into P10 of the 15. It's a 10th in front of Saxa and a 10th behind Decelerate. But um, as we were saying, Anika on for a good shout here for the win because uh, uh, Pepsi tends to struggle around this track. He does have a great track record around here. He's been a famous incident where he uh, did some donuts. A bit premature, in, uh... those donuts. Yeah, um... very premature. Yes. Didn't really win anything. But, uh... Oh, I mean, he's he's had some success in his career. I mean, he does, he is a tier one he has... winner. Can't forget uh, that. Who can say that? T-Mac can't say that, can he? No, no, not oh, yet, I, unfortunately. I, I, I really should say that, because he uh, me, uh, had a brilliant race up until the scurry yeah, where he was taken yeah, out. That so that tier one race. Absolute chaos from start to it was, finish. It was it, really entertaining. It wow. was, it was, to be honest with you, it was quite good racing out the front up until those final two laps. Yes. Well, for me, it kind of just divulged, and you had a front row seat to that all what do you the mean? way I, through. I had the 4D experience, like I could like smell <laughs> it and, 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 and everything. I was like full on involved in that virtual like reality <laughs> kind of thing right. right there. Lots of drivers in the pits, quite a few drivers out there for uh, on outlaps. Yellow flags, as it uh, looks like one of the McLarens, that'd be Bear Camp. Going slowly into the pit lane, just being sure to keep it well and truly under that 80 km an hour speed limit. And Anders oh. crashed! How? He's out of the pits, he's crashed. I have no idea how he has managed that. Um, we'll see if we Pepsi can get... Pepsi for pole? <laughs> Don't forget about Wingman, but... Oh, Jesus. That is... One way of uh, killing some momentum in this championship run he's having. I mean, Nut has set a purple first sector, so you know that Ando has really messed it up there. I mean, nothing against Nut, but he's uh, not really in that championship hunt that's, uh, this season, unfortunately. But the philosophy of McLarens have seemed to be stay out of trouble and fortune will favour you. And that, uh, that has very much happened. Nut at the very start of the season, a P5 and a P4, and then Bandcamp's got a, you know, a podium and a race into his name, along with... I think about four or five P4s to his name, so he's been there thereabouts, and that's also gotten some points from positions along the way in P12 in the championship, so when they're not in trouble, they are getting points. As you said, they keep out of that trouble, uh, keeping it clean, and they find themselves in some fortunate positions. First, no, to finish first, first you must finish, Seb, and, uh, well... I mean, that's, <laughs> that hits home more than ever, considering how Tier 1 just went, but anyways, Mika. Don't forget about tonight, don't forget about tonight as well. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, that is that is very true as well. Michael Massey making it very clear that any sort of breach of the international sporting code could result in very severe punishments for those found guilty. Now, Mika, Ascari Chicane, 100 meter board. Let's see if he gets that front end gripped up. A lot nicer than what we saw Bandcamp do just a few minutes ago. 
very much off the throttle through turn 10. Didn't have the confidence to floor it through there. You normally see uh, tier 1 drivers, the best of the best. Uh, full throttle it through there. Maybe a little bit of lift through turn 9. It's Polo Pepsi. That's not a visual. While Ando Cap would be kicking himself right about now. But his teammate, Mika, 7th gear, 8th gear. Keeping it right to the line. Just behind Wingman. Spots in the P7 though. Yeah, two hundredths of a second, just about, between those two. Blink of an eye. Blink of an eye. See, so, uh, actually flat spots his tyres into turn one. <laughs> Luckily, no flat spots on F1 2021 by Codemasters, uh, but we've seen how costly that can be in recent memory. Now... In real life. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, any drivers mm -hmm. on hot laps at the moment? Uh, Accelerate looks like it, but it's, I think he's kind of back there. Combat rap might be. Well, Psycho is just about to end one. He's marginally up on his time, and he goes onto that front row. P uh, Pips and Ocat with a purple final sector, a 1 minute 20.510 for the Alpha Tower. A very, very nice lap indeed. Mm -hmm. Mr. Spicer as well. He's just started a lap step going down into the Retifilio chicane. Mm hmm. Kalios. I just had a representative lap time for him. He's all the way in that second sector, about to head into a scurry, but this is Spicer. Yeah. Decent season. Like, more yeah, points are in prison. Mixed bag. Mixed bag for Spicer, honestly. <laughs> I mean, when you think about greatness. it, a P2 and so sort of several points are in prison, but um, Purple first sector will do him some good, but he's just hasn't had that consistency, been in some dissonance, seen outside the points a fair bit, so. And it can definitely be in there, you can definitely be in the mix. Just gotta find that formula to keep that consistency well then truly there. Yellow flag sector two, that's just not getting out of the way of potentially psycho. Uh, yes, that Might would spice. be psycho. Yeah, Mystic. and the Alpha Terry on track. It's actually in the pits. It's like not might actually be out of fuel. Nice cheeky slipstream for Mr. Do much. Spicer. Does not do much at all. It's Probably a, it's a, it's a thousandth, thousandth of a thousandth. second. I mean, every thousandth yeah. counts. I mean, look how tight it is all across this grid right now. And Mr. Spicer will use that thousandth and uh, jump up ahead of Decelerate, splitting the two Alfa Romeos at the moment. So a very, very nice lap indeed from the Alpine. Very nicely. King J just starting his lap ahead of turn two through the Curva Grande. On there the he run is. down to the Della Roger chicane. And just, just 800s up in his time. We'll jump on board. Right about now. Yeah, we'll jump on board with the Haas. He goes, makes the way into the first set with Lesmo. That car looks absolutely planted through that first Lesmo and the second, but maybe a bit tentative on the input set so far. Mm -hmm. Very cautious that they just rolled the car through. A bit like Daniel Ricciardo. Wants to roll the speed through the corner. He's down now. So that's around a tenth turnaround on lap time from end of sector one to end of sector two. Right, still trying to find our scar, and especially in the parabolica. Because I'm going to keep this tight, get the pad down as early as possible, then keep it as tight to the right as possible. So you'll miss the apex just about. Gets it hooked up rather nicely, but get that brilliant purchase on exit to the line. Keeps it left out of all things, and it improves just pipping and cat by two hundredths of a second. Things are about to get really, really spicy. Hold on to your hats. Uh, you don't have to hold them on for another three hours and 15 minutes as well as uh, King J. Rearranging the polystyrene off at the turn one <laughs> runoff area. Say, no, nope, mm -hmm. I'm going to go this way. And uh, you know what? No one can stop him. So... <laughs> No one can. Uh, don't blame me either. That is uh, some very hard set of uh, polystyrene boards to get through without actually hitting them. Yeah, but, uh, he did some, it the right way. Yeah, some say it's impossible. Uh, it has yeah. been impossible in games gone by. I'm not sure how different that is in the latest installment. But what I do know is that we have a clownfish about to start a flying lap set. Clownfish? Very much. I just started lap down in P11. And you can easily improve on that. It's getting to the end of the session as well. Four minutes, 13 left. It's slamming those breakdowns just before the 100 meter board. Boy, those curbs. As per usual, those orange sausage curbs. He gets the traction down on the exit curb. You don't let me see that out of the Retifilio chicane. Yes, yeah, lots, uh, lots of cars in the pits as well. So it's that calm before the storm. But 
Nemo wanted to get a time on the board. He's slightly down, unfortunately, through that first set. It didn't quite get the traction that he needed out of that first chicane. We'll see how he handles the rest of the lap. And again, quite tentative through that first Lesmo set. Mm -hmm. Luckily for him, he's missed the apex again at Lesmo too, so... You can you can do two hot laps in a row because you gain back a lot of ERS and your tires don't really overheat. They kind of keep around under 95 degrees core temperature. So you can manage to do two laps in a row around here if you are, are feeling lucky or have no luck and have managed to uh, find a way to invalidate your lap time or mess it up. Uh, I suspect you'd have to have another go at this and have enough fuel to do so because uh, this life hasn't been the cleanest. Missing the apex of the parabolic, not the, not the second time he's done this th that this lap, just the third time. Across the line, still game's too tense. But uh, there, there's more in that lap for sure. Apollo Pepsi, the only Ferrari uh, on this grid today. Unfortunately, no bully for us. But the Tafosi have uh, we've come to cheer on one man, Pepsi. Uh, so, and it is Pepsi. <laughs> Yes, I am Pepsi. You are indeed Pepsi. I am indeed Pepsi, yeah. The only one prior to and no bully, who scored his first points last time around in uh, the Netherlands, I believe. So, uh, congratulations to him. No, no, not the first time, sorry. That's the third time. But he's had a good, Bully's had a good run of things, and Pepsi hasn't. So, uh, that, that's all that matters at the moment, because Pepsi is fine for the championship. Ferrari are leading the constructors, and uh, he's not happy right there. He gets the, gets the chance to go again, but... Um, Red Bull only with one driver as well. They trail by four points in the championship. Aston Martin with both their drivers. They trail by four, sorry, 12 in the championship. Well, I was about to say four again. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tight one up the top in the constructors and uh, still a bit to play for in the drivers. And then you, obviously you can't forget that combined constructors that we have here in AFR. Bandcamp alluded it to it. If you were able to catch that tier three stream, uh, Red Bull and Williams in a tight battle for that crown as well. And after yeah. what was a unfortunate Punch end up. for Williams, <laughs> uh, they're going to be really re relying on Combat, who's just put himself on the front row, Seb. Very nice time. Pepsi's called it quits, so he didn't have the fuel to go for another run. Combat Rat, though, will definitely have a chance to go for another run if he wants it. He could be going for a run right now. It looks like he's still using ERS. He's very much pushing in that Williams car. We saw Red Bull lose some points at near the end of the um, Tier 3 race due to a, a, a puncture over Debris. Fortunate for one of the reserves. I can't remember quite who it was. It was but Dalek, I think. Dalek, yes. I, I, I think that'd be it. But very unfortunate. With what happened in uh, Tier 1... As you can say, it kind of evens out, but there's still two two drivers here that are from both teams, Combat Rat and Wingman. One in P2, one in P6, one break. Both of them currently on hot laps. Wingman is in, is still improving, I believe. Combat Rat only just, and this is very crucial for Combat Rat because Psycho is about to start another hot lap. King J is on one at the moment. Needs his time to come out well, and he's probably got time. No, oh, actually, no, he doesn't have the ERS for it. I was about to say he had time for another lap, which he does. He just doesn't have the ERS. Misses the apex at the Alberto curve. We'll see what the time is. No, he's not happy with it. He's just going to dive into the pits at full speed. So we'll ride on board now with Mr. Spicer. It looks like he's actually going to go into the pits as well. His teammate, is he going to finish a lap? I think he is. Uh, let's see, what improvement can Nemo find? He finds no improvement, unfortunately. We stay in ninth Wing fastest man. as the checker oh. drops. And Wingman has come to play. Here we go, that front is... row. Watch out for King J. Psycho's up half a tenth on his time as well through the first sector. So that was a tenth and a half from Wingman in that final sector because he was only up half a tenth on his time throughout the first portions of his lap. King J now to the line. He's going to keep this to the right. He's not keeping it to the right. Interestingly enough for these tier two drivers, he's still going to get into P2 though. But don't forget about Psycho. Psycho is up one, what, point one two, Almost a tenth and a half. And this last corner could make or break this Alpha Tarius race. He absolutely nails that apex. Gets nice and early on the power. Keeps it tight to the right hand side. Is it going to be a front row? Is it going to be pole position for Psycho? No, not quite, but it's very, very Ooh. close. It's the second row, third place for the Alpha Tari. Very, very nicely. Bandcamp into P7. Saxa has dropped it out of Ascari. 
Vast is the last to do the run, along with Mika. Those two are our last two runs in the session. Oh, a bit of a snap from Vassa out of the Parabolica. Off that Astro Turf, he'll bump himself. No, he won't. He improves, but not enough. He will not stay enough from Mika. in eighth fastest. Mika, uh, Mika spun on his uh, lap uh, between the two Lesmos, actually, so he won't be setting another flying lap. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sebastian, what a grid we have. For Monza, the third and final race around Monza this season, and I can can't wait. It's it's going to be D intense. DRS change. We saw it in Tier One. How crucial it is. Didn't really get a chance to see it in Tier Three that much, barring the start. Saw a couple of little trains here and there, but Pepsi, our pole man, he didn't even get to set that last lap in the session. Yeah, with Ando crashing out earlier, he'll start in six. What pace? does the Aston Martin hold underneath its green livery? But it is the home, well, the home hero team, uh, Ferrari, on pole position. Apollo Pepsi looking to get back on track after a poor run of form. He'll have King J alongside him with Psycho Wingman on the uh, second row. And these guys, just like in Tier 3, Seb, are very, very keen to get this race underway. Very keen. You see Bandcamp there in P7. He's enjoying his racing, isn't he? He hasn't had an outside the top five finish since Imola, I believe. We had that podium, so he might have finished outside of the top five in Hungary. I can't quite remember, but uh, go the Dragon. Certainly this is one of his better qualifying performances, and normally that means that he's actually got some yeah. really good pace around the circuit. So watch out for that Papaya McLaren. Uh, he will definitely be one to look out for, uh, not just for all of you lovely ladies and gentlemen waiting and watching at home, but also these drivers on this grid this evening. 10 seconds until we get things underway. If you're just joining us, you're just in time for the 27 lap campaign around Monza. This is AFR Season 7 Tier 2. Uh, so... Not the fastest guys we have on offer, but uh, don't let that deceive you. These guys are still absolutely rapid, sir. Yeah, I hope they are uh, able to keep it clean. It's all cleaner than what Tier 1 was because we only have 15 of them. So doesn't mean we can't have an absolutely stellar race. We had that in Baku where only none of them finished. And um, yeah, there was absolutely some great racing and a bit of chaos to mix there. That comes with having only nine drivers finish a race, but... The hope is that all drivers can get through clean, as is for every race. Well, Monza is a very fast circuit. The fastest circuit, actually, on the entire F1 calendar. Lewis Hamilton setting the fastest lap ever in Formula 1 last year when the real-life championship went to Monza. I believe it was an average speed set of 286 kilometers an hour. That is absurd. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, it's just really so much fun to drive, flooring it down these straights. I mean, if anyone Gary. has tried the iRacing uh, Mercedes W12, that thing is glue. Oh, that's, that is glue, and that's how it is in real life. You'd see them slam the throttles out of hairpins and stuff like that. You can't really do that in this game. You have to really uh, caress it and you know be nice with it. You have to speak to the car gently. But, um, well, that provides its own yeah. unique challenge as well. Yeah, it does, especially especially with the the wear and you know the curbs in this game as well. Yeah, we'll see a fair bit of action at Ascari. Oh my goodness, sir! The formation types are already over, or nearly over, and we haven't talked about tires. I mean, there's not really much to talk about. Everyone's starting on that red walled soft compound tires. Uh, learning from the early safety cars that have played all grids so far here at Monza. But it's Pepsi, King J, Psycho, Wingman, Combat Rat, Ando Cat, Bandcamp, Vassa, Spicer, Decelerate, your top 10 with Nemo, Mika, Saxa, Kalios, and Nut, the back five. Seb, I'll let you have the honors for this one. This is going to be intense. They're making their way to their grid slots now, and I can't wait to see what we find at Monza. Lap one, turn one for tier two. Can't wait, indeed. Just got waiting on Kalios and Nut in the Haas and the Papaya McLaren. On that eighth row, once they get settled, these drivers will load into the race session. We'll have 27 laps of green flag racing around this 11-turn Monza circuit. Drivers have loaded in. Those lights are turning on, and they're about to go off very soon. 
The lights are out and it's time for racing. Looks like it's all so clean so far. A couple of good starts down the line. Pepsi, a good enough start, but Psycho didn't get a great start. Uncharacteristic from him. Comrade looking around the outside. They're going three wide and two on. And there's a crash already. And a big oh! crash. Look at that. Wings off. Psycho ran. Wingman ran. You see a driver cut the track. That's King J. Pepsi will take the lead back. Psycho. Oh, Psycho. Oh, and massive big crash. crash. Band down. The race is absolute chaos, Mick. Oh my goodness, oh, what are we seeing? This is 98 Spa vibes. My goodness me, loads of penalties all over this grid. We have one fatal, well, not fatal, uh, thankfully, but uh, one retirement, and it is unfortunately the fan favorite man camp. The man that was looking so good for this race. You, you were saying, Mick, P7, that normally means. Uh, after a qualifying that, he's got some serious race pace about him, but he's not going to be able to use it because he's out before he even gets to the end of the first sector. Absolute chaos. There's three wide in it, maybe even four wide. Just, that's all we combat right getting pushed under the grass there. Psycho running in the back of King J. King J might have some some floor damage or something. Oh, it's chaos, but it's what it's done is it's gifted Pepsi P1. He had nothing to worry about, and Ando Cat is right there with him. That's probably the crucial thing in all of this, that Ando was able to make up those three spots. Of course, from starting sixth on this grid, he is well and truly in this uh, this fight with his nearest championship rival and trying to make it four from four. Uh, unsurprisingly, Seb, we do have a full safety car, but Mylander uh, wants to lead a few more laps around the Temple of Speed this evening. <sighs> and uh, uh, lots of action, I assume, will be going on in the pit lane as well. I see a Haas, I see uh, an Alpha Tari, a Red Bull, a uh, an oh alpha or a mayor and no one's pitting have... strategically either i don't think i think it's all they, for damage they all they all have to pit for damage we got so many drivers with five second penalties i think at least four of them <laughs> bring me with a 15 second psycho with 11 decelerated drive through king j 10 seconds this is absolutely crazy start to this monza race here for tier two final race of the three we've had or we'll have tonight and we're only one lap through on our second lap so far on that right, taking his, his sweet time in the pit box. He'll emerge in 12th position. Now, we saw how powerful this strategy could be in Tier 1, of course, with FIBA taking the lead of the race. But you do have to consider the tire life as well. In that race, we had, I think, four safety cars by the end of it. And uh, FIBA was really starting to struggle on those mediums when it really counted in those crucial last couple of laps. So do we see something similar here uh, with the Kaliots, with the Zellerate, uh, with Wingman as well? He's got some serious pace. He's in 11th on those fresh mediums as well. And Psycho, you know, after a very poor start as Combat Rat misses his breaking point, goes over those curbs. Hope that that floor is intact, Seb. I hope so indeed for the sake of Williams. <laughs> Yeah, Horrid start points. for them. Same for Red Bull as well, but as you were saying, you could see the same as what happened in Tier 1 with FIBA. Very much the same. You know, you, you know, you know what the saying is. Safety car, it's breed safety cars. So a safety car at the right time may see drivers switch over to the soft compound tyres at the end of the race. But uh, at the moment, it looks like Pepsi, King J, and Okat, Nemo, Vassa, Mika, and not Mr. Spicer as he comes to pit lane and gets a 5 second speeding in the pit lane penalty for good measure. The top 6 will all need to pit onto the mediums and you're going to have to hope they get a safety car at some point in this race in order to gain back the time that they have lost to the drivers that have pit so far. I don't know what's going on on the Alpine pit wall but uh, Spicer's put on a fresh set of softs. Broken front wing maybe? Nope. We, we, we watched that pit stop here on the broadcast. No front wing change whatsoever. Not even a, an angle adjustment, Seb. Just a, a fresh set of soft compound tyres. So maybe, maybe they know something that we don't. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure at all. This track's an easy soft medium. So if you have the opportunity to go on the meters right now, why don't you as King J has spun? Has he now? He has very much spun. Oh, and he's uh, lost the front wing out as of, well. Out of the Della Rocha, I believe. Under safety car, no less. We've had uh, a couple of drivers spin under safety car so far this season. Shout out Jackson. Um, doing yeah. it more than once this season so far. But uh, yeah, it's it's an oddity. I mean, it's... it's it shouldn't happen. 
it really shouldn't, but uh, it is it's... a very high speed circuit, and if you want to really catch that cue as quickly as possible, make sure your tyres are right in that optimal temperature window for the restart. Things like this can happen. Yes, they can. It's just things like this just shouldn't happen. You're under safety car, very safe conditions. You're not even pushing all late. You're not even going to be able to repair it. The safety car mm. has indeed been called in. So one red uh, car leading for another. Pepsi rounds the Alvaretto, well, the Curva Alvaretto, newly named, of course, after the very, very famous Italian racing driver and here we go we're about to get underway and looks like pepsi pretty decent restart so far but he hasn't quite caught the acid martin napping yeah and the car keeping his wits about him contains that four tenth gap until i make is getting a move on kalios down the field side by side they go into turn one very very tight looks like they're giving each other respect love to see it ask around the outside kalios get that better traction albeit on medium tires Wingman struggling right there with traction as well. Sacks are all over the rear of him. Now Psycho down the inside of Mr. Spicer on the run down to turn four. Nut gets to move on Combat Rat as well. So a couple of fishing changes here and there from the safety car restart on that four. The solid restart for Pepsi. He leads them away from Anocat. Then Nemo in third place. Vassa in fourth. Kalios, the lead of the medium runners. He's off to a very nice restart as well, making up a couple of places. Uh, keep an eye on that Haas, uh, but a little bit further down the grid. Looks like Mr. Spicer isn't going to give up that 11th place without a fight. Two tenths, nearing on three, and you can see how close the guy these guys are about to get into the Ascari chicane. Oh, so close. Vassa and Neymar are also very close. Vassa looks like he's going for a move on the right end of the Parabolica, and I'm going to keep saying that because <laughs> I am not going to get Alberto right, but Nemo around the outside. Able to hold it, the inside line. Yeah. Pepsi fast He's broken DRS as well. Now Nemo's coming back at Vasimik. Here they go. Side by side on the run down to turn one. Oh, they bang the wheels. The Filio Chicane, they're banging wheels. This is so tight. Nemo not giving an inch of space. And he will have the inside line. And he will edge a front. But he's gone deep through turn two. Open up the door for Vasa here. And Vasa's got some pretty good traction. Here we go. Round three for these two drivers. They're going side by side to the Cover Grande. Great pictures. We've seen this before in real life. We've seen this before in AFR. Director Alan Fiebola. Sorry, it's season five. Season six, sorry. But looks like Vassa will pull ahead for the time being. Looks like Nemo had the move done, but going wide through turn two cost him. Well, that's the nature of Monza. One minor mistake could mean the end of your race, Seb. And we've already seen quite a lot of retirements so far this evening. Hope for a few less in Tier 2, but unfortunately, Bandcamp already out of this one. Now, Mika putting his foot to the floor. He's getting very close to the back of that clownfish oh. as well. Look how close he got through the first part of Ascari. And Nemo dropping off the back of Vassa now. This is very much opened the door for Mika to get a move done. I almost think if Mika can just fight him a little bit and make sure Nemo doesn't have DRS for when DRS is enabled at the start of the next lap, which we're about to have as Pepsi crosses the line, another fastest lap and pulled another five tenths on his championship rival Endercat. But here comes Mika in Endercat's teammate's car. Aston Martin versus Alpine on the run down to turn one. And once again, looks like Mika's edging forward deep, deep, deep. And Nemo has to give way to the Aston Martin, who just outbreaks him down the field. Psycho and Nut exchanging positions as well. And that's the hot spot for racing right there at this circuit. Yes, the Retifilio chicane. Turn number one. Just the amount of overspeed. Cars are coming in at a max speed. I believe the max that uh, was recorded during that, uh, that Tier 1 race was something like 348 kilometers an hour. All the way down to, I think, the apex speed is around uh, 70. It's yeah. insane. It's massive deceleration. And you're braking for around 110 meters, which makes it even more crazy how, you know, little you are braking considering. It's massive Gs, and you can only imagine what this is like in real life. Whoa, Nemo, looking around the outside into a scurry. That's uh, something you don't really see every day. Unfortunately, uh, has to correct himself in our Kalios right on that Alpine rear wing. The El Plan, as it's named oh, right man. now. But look at the speed of the Haas. You don't get to say that every day of the week. And look at that Kalios up the inside. And very, very nicely done. Now Saxa will be trying to get past the Alpine now. 
are down in towards the Whoa. turn one. Oh. Nemo, so much straight line speed mix, so much overspeed. Kalios has the DRS as well, I believe, but it just doesn't have that straight line speed that Nemo has. They all be neck and neck into turn one. Nemo turning on Kalios, Kalios pushing Nemo into turn two, and they're still pushing each other. This will open up the door for Saxon for potential run down to the Delaware as you came, but they keep it level of stern out of the corner, still holding it side by side. Kalios with enough speed out of the corner through the Curva Grande, but Nemo is not done yet. Having looked down the inside, still using that overtake, he's going to head to head under braking, and Kalios will give way to the Alp Alpine. Oh, it's not over yet. It's not done yet. Up the inside into the first Lesmo, tries the Haas on those medium tyres, they're still going out, and Nemo doing very well to hang it around the outside on those ageing softs, but they're getting an entourage, so look at the train behind them. Look at the train, look at the train. Six cars, and you see Kalios gaining and gaining and gaining and gaining. Down the inside, into the Scourge. Okay, Nemo kind of checked up by Kalios, expected him to turn in a bit more, carry a bit more speed, and all well, didn't, had to turn out of the corner, but... He's got no pressure from behind because Saxa is under pressure from Mr. Spicer, who's getting the move done before the Parabolica corner. Nemo as well, having a look at Kalios going a bit wide through the Parabolica or the Alberto curve. But Kalios had a shape on the Astro turf, Mick. This is going absolutely bonkers at the moment. Both Alpines and both Alpateros having the time of their lives right now as Nemo gets past Kalios yet again into the turn one breaking zone. Mr. Spicer thought about it, a, a dive uh, up the inside of the Haas, but can't quite be brave enough on the brakes. Can't really get that car stopped in time oh. to avoid an accident, but he's got the run through the Curva Grande. Is it a Grande move, Seb? I think it might be. Up the inside goes the Alpine to follow his teammate through, and Kalios losing two places in one sector. To both the Alpines as well. Big, big move. Great teamwork from the pair. But while this is happening, Mika has gone past Vassa into what seems like his first potential podium finish of the season. But all, all will be seen. we still got another 20 odd laps to go. Lots of racing still to come, ladies and gentlemen. You're just in for the start of this very wild ride. You can see how fast they're going down towards the Ascari chicane. You get that lovely camera as Spicer defending the inside from Kalios into that braking zone. And they have the two Alpha Terriers of Saxa and Psycho for company and Nut as well is doing very well to hang on in that DRS range. But yes, like you were saying, Mika is now up into a podium position. Very, very nicely done for him, Aston Martin. I'm sure Pondon, as he's watching this, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Hi, Pondon, if you're watching this. Uh, probably pretty proud right now of your two drivers. Be very proud indeed. And I think Pondon had some good points scoring uh, happening in that tier one race which happened in Mr. Spicer and Nemo exchanging positions not a lot of fight going there at El Plant don't need to fight too much but Mr. Spicer has gone deep oh. and it's oh my god the, the bit of check up here this could put Nemo under pressure to Kalios if Kalios decides to use any ERS he isn't though nice. uh, Haas thinks the better of it and will wait for his uh, for his next best opportunity not a lot of fighting going on at the front of things. Mika almost breaking that DRS from Vassa in that battle for that final podium place. Pepsi continuing to extend his advantage. 3.4 seconds now out in front of his championship rival, Andercat, trying to bring the gold for the Tafosi here at Monza. And uh, boy, oh boy, what a sight it would be to see a red suit on that top step once again, sir. He is absolutely killing it at the moment. You know, he had those two fastest laps straight off the bat from the safety car rejoin. I think it was actually three consecutive fastest laps, and he just pulled a two-second gap on Ando. He's kind of checked out at the front at the moment. Uh, right now, I don't think Ando would be too upset with P2, considering he did bottle qualifying. Yeah, but it could be P1, Seb. And you just Could need to be. finish ahead of your title rivals as Kalios getting a bit out of shape oh. through the parabolica. The Alboreto curve as Nemo dives into the pit lane. And that is going to open Kalios up to Psycho. They both have DRS, but one of them has slipstream. The other one doesn't. Psycho looking to the inside. Goes the Alpha Terry. Is he later on the brakes? Yes, he is. Up the inside. A little bit of a lock up on that front right. But he gets the car stops. Hits both apexes. And now it's all eyes on Mr. Spicer in front. Very much indeed. But Kalios isn't done yet, looking for a run. He's really using that juice on Psycho. They're going to go side by side now, out of the Curva Grande, into the Della Roggia. Kalios thinks better of it. Won't be sticking his nose anywhere where the sun don't shine. And at the moment, he is in a provisional P3 at the moment, because if you think about it, 
Fast has got a pit. Pepsi, Ando, Mika, and Vassa all do need a pit as well onto the medium tyres. Wingman is our provisional leader at the moment. And he, well, he's only about 12 seconds off of the leader, Pepsi. Sorry, 10. Hey, oh, we have uh, a spin up. Oh. Vass has gone around at the Ascari chicane, facing the wrong way. Has to get out of the way as quickly as it can. Oh, he does uh, just in the nick of time before Mr. Spicer came through. But man, oh man, we were just switching because he was he was pushing so hard to Mika. I feel like I've said this for the a millionth time, Seb. It's when you start pushing the car that extra little bit that mistakes happen. And boy, oh boy, that was a very costly mm -hmm. mistake at that. Cars in the pits as well. That's Mr. Spicer and Mika, but as you were saying, the moment you start pushing these cars, very much you start to lose it. You need to be in a rhythm with these cars, you need to be consistent. That's why Potsy is leading the Tier 1 Championship. He is by far the most consistent driver on the grid. Well, barring you, Mikhail, probably, to be honest with you, but uh, you've had your moments, had moments this season. Yeah, not very the much, run. But yeah, Potsy may not be the best qualifier on the grid, but when it comes to the race, he just bangs out those laps, consistent, 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 and they are fast at the same time, so... That's all that matters. If you if you can drive without pushing, you're doing yourself a lot of favours. You know, this track isn't one where tyre temperatures will catch up to you, but uh, tyre wear will. And if you aren't mindful of tyre wear, corners like Ascari and, you know, corners like the Lesmos will very much uh, catch you out. And even Parabolica on the exit under throttle. We have seen both in league racing and in real life that Parabolica can cause some issues. My mind goes to Charles Leclerc a couple of, well, last year actually, going off there. Or maybe, even though that probably wasn't quite his fault. But anyways, Pepsi into the pit lane. I dare say Ando will follow him in. So Wingman will assume race lead in that Red Bull and Saxa. Closing up very much so on Kalios in this battle for what will maybe become third place. It's going to be quite tight on the exit. You can see on that right hand side, Pepsi will start to be coming out. Actually, no, you don't. Pepsi way, way back in the distance. There's not who it's and on. Nut. Isn't. Yeah, not getting past as well. Oh, not quite though. A bit of a lock up for the McLaren and just quite, it just can't quite get the grip that he needs and news from bait mate king j and kalios both have floor damage so that's why we see kalios being a bit more careful kalios also struggling a fair bit we know how much pace he does have and has shown especially earlier on the season just never capitalized on it but he's got sacks of pressure right now and uh he does have a podium place at, up up for grabs at the moment he's three and a half seconds ahead of pepsi and you think that pepsi would start to Gain and gain and gain on these two ahead, and maybe even think about getting Psycho. But uh, all remains to be seen. Yes, yeah, Saxo, one thing he's doing very well is staying in this DRS of the Haas, making Pepsi's job just that touch bit more difficult. As a little bit of a slide for Kalios, this could be the opportunity that Saxo was looking for. He has the battery to do it, but so does Kalios to defense. So it's all going to be on who has the lower drag coefficient, who has less downforce, and gets that slipstream, that DRS assistance as well, will Saxo have in that Alpha Terry. And here we go, Seb, the drag race down towards turn one. The drag race is firmly heating up. Look at how much speed Saxa has. He'll get down the inside. He'll get this move done before the breaking point. But will Sa Kalios have an answer? He's having a look around the outside. He won't be able to hold it, though. Saxa just had too much straight line speed and had him well and truly covered into the Retifilio chicane breaking zone. And that's Saxa into P3. He's got the buffer right there of Kalios between Pepsi. And you saw that's a floor damage speaking. It doesn't really affect your downforce through the corners, but it certainly affects... The stability when taking those high speed corners. Oh. And once again, oh, that's got to be some more floor damage right there. Because you cannot take those curves. They will give you big, big floor damage and certainly hurt your chances. There's a yellow flag. That's not, that's not around. In sector two at the start, that's Della Roche Chicane. Exit of turn five. And what was a clean race for the McLaren is uh, well, not so clean anymore. Yes, a very costly mistake as Pepsi makes his way past Kalios towards the Ascari chicane. Uh, Man Camp. I've just noticed actually, Nuts Yellow is very close to Lando's as Kalios, oh, Kalios has out. binned it at the exit of Ascari. We have a full safety car, ladies and gentlemen, here on lap 13. Now this Wingman. throws things 
uh, throws a spanner in the works. Wingman into the pit lane. Pepsi will, of course, take lead of things once again. Uh, actually, no, well. he's not. He's going into the pits. Pepsi's in the pit as, as well. Oh, Zach's refining the time belt as well. He had to. He had to. Because Wingman was coming onto those fresh softs. No, it's fresh mediums for the Red Bull. Fresh mediums? Wow, okay. So you can take the softs in here, but he opts for the mediums. Pepsi looks like he's going on the soft, so Pepsi with a massive advantage at the start of the safety car restart. It'll last for about five or so laps. And then those tires will be pretty equal for the next three after that. And then those mediums should have a slight advantage come the end of the race. But I mean, look my at this. Oh my. Mika. Because Mika in the lead. Mika has taken the lead of the Italian Grand Prix, ladies and gentlemen. What are we witnessing here at Monza? It's Is just this... craziness. From start is to finish. A, yeah, is this the first time he's led a race, Mika? Genuinely led a race. I, I think so. I think so. Someone in the chat, maybe all those Aston Martin fans from Pondon's Discord might be able to help us out if they are tuning in. Um, but yeah, this definitely one of the few times, if at all, he has been in the net lead of the race. I mean, he's got quite the task to to keep those drivers behind him. Behind him. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But Mika, Mika Tsunoda, leading a Grand Prix. You love to see Mika it. Mika Tsunoda. <laughs> Wingman just behind me. No, Wingman had some pace and Psycho has uh, had some good form, especially in that uh, the end of that first third of the season. So uh, don't forget about Pepsi on those soft tyres. He'll be looking to make some quick moves along with Andrew Cat. Combat route on fresh softs as well, down in P9. So he'll be looking to climb his way around P5. I think that's a reasonable stop for Combat Rat to get. But Pepsi and Ando looking at, uh, uh, I think, the top three. Especially Ando Cat. But uh, Pepsi is looking for that win. To finally uh, get some points back, which is which he has been uh, losing in the past three weeks. Yes, he stopped the bleeding slightly last week with a podium finish at Zambort. But it was still a loss of 10 points to his championship rival, Ando Cat who has been on absolutely amazing form as of late. Mr. Spicer into the pit lane now. Decides uh, not to uh, get a speeding ticket uh, this time around. He'll put on a fresh set of softs to go to the end of this race. As we have just now crossed the halfway point, Seb. So, well, and truly crossed the halfway point now. Yeah, 15 of 27. Safety car conditions after Kalios, unfortunately lost it at the exit of the Ascari chicane. If you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Mikhail. Joining me is a fellow a Tier 3 driver, Tier 3 championship leader, and Season 4, uh, well, I'm going to say runner-up, because, you know. Yeah, well, Revo doesn't count. So. Revo doesn't count. So right to Season 4 runner-up, uh, Mr. Sebastian. And uh, my, oh my, we've had some great racing so far tonight, and hopefully a lot more to come. Uh, we will have a lot more great racing. Uh, we hope. Yep. The Derby, obviously that's on later tonight. they will be two hours, it's just slightly more than two hours after this race finishes, so get yourselves right, because yes. uh, it will be a stellar one in Abu Dhabi. But yes. uh, I think I almost took you out in that... that that season four race, didn't I? Uh, that yes, that was three? that was a that was a quite a scary moment. Uh, yeah, you were on pole Just for that race. Had to deny me my, my the, the best lap, the best lap I've ever, I've ever done as well. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to wait uh, another few rounds to Bahrain season five before I would see that uh that speed demon award. But Mika, no, no. he's gonna be hoping that yeah. he's a speed demon on the safety car restart because it's happening and it's happening, it's happening. very very soon. Time for nerves to steal. It's the first time doing one of these. It's always nerve wracking. You don't want to spin those rear wheels up. And I expect him to go rather soon. He's waiting, waiting. He has gone. A little bit of a snap. And Wingman has not been caught off guard at all. The Red Bull's right there with the Aston Martin. He's right in the rear wing. He's right in the slipstream. Pulling out to the right hand side. Mika going to give him that inside line. The Red Bull's got that inside he's got the ERS he's gonna try and outbreak him no Mika outbreaks the Red Bull looks like Mika's gone a bit deep though wingman trying to sweep through he's gotten gotten the move done Mika with a bit of a snap that might allow Psycho a run but Psycho's too far back now Pepsi Pepsi getting the move on Nemo he'll get that move he'll be looking for Psycho next very soon and potentially P1 in the next five laps over here at Anacat though but he's not close enough to Saxo to get a move done at this moment in time 
Yeah, Ando really needs to start making these moves tick if he wants to have any chance of challenging Pepsi for what could potentially be the race win on these fresh soft compound tyres, but at least beating Pepsi uh, and uh, or just finishing right behind him is what the Aston Martin's goal is. And oh, this might be a way to do wow. it. He has a little look. As He's not using his ERS. I don't get that. He's got 100% ERS. He didn't use a single bit of it. And he had a great run of Saxa, didn't he? He did, he did, and uh, Pepsi just got past the other AlphaTauri of Psycho, so Pepsi now up into third, and he's about to make that second. Look at the speed of the Ferrari. Check their engine. And Maker can't do anything about that, can he? That's the old, that's a Ferrari of old right there. Pure power, just straight line speed right there, and Ando Cat still struggling. Struggling and struggling and struggling to get by the Alpha Tower and the Alpine right ahead, but he's got his opportunity now. It's on the run down to turn one, but he's just not close enough. He had the opportunity down to Scurry and he didn't take it. Well, someone who is close enough, it is Pepsi. He's going to take the lead of the race around the outside of turn one. They bang wheels of Red Bull and the Ferrari going side by side through the Reds of Filio Chicane. Who has the better traction? Is it Pepsi? Is it Wingman? It is Pepsi. Pepsi in the lead of things on lap 17 of 27, but Wingman is there. Oh, give me up easily. Look at this, Seb. He will never give up, Pepsi, he's going to have to yield, he'll have to yield, surely, too wide into Della Rogia is suicide, but look at that run, Mick, he's going to still run, those soft tyres are fired up perfectly, he's gone down the entire wingman, and wingman has no answer for the soft tyres and the pace that the Ferrari has, the championship leader is in the lead of this race, and he will storm away with this one. He is back in control, the favourite all race long after that qualifying and that first stint as well. Mika now coming under oh. a lot of pressure pressure from Psycho behind, as is Ando on Saxa looking at Ascari Shakay. Look how close he's literally pushing him through turns 9 and 10, but it's not quite enough, and Saxa's look other on a Nemo as well. Three seconds, that's how far Ando Cat is off from the top four, it's just losing this race. He had to get that move done straight away and he didn't take the opportunity. Nemo gone deep, allowed it. He's opened the door for Saxa down the inside and Anocat, now Anocat, he needs to use that ERS. He needs to get this move done right now, but Nemo's getting the sit streak for Saxa, nothing is going Anocat's way. Anocat has to dig deep if he wants to score any kind of sizable points this race as Saxa locks up a bit deep on the brakes, a little bit of a bump between himself and the Aston Martin as well as, as uh, Ando just says move it along, I've got a Ferrari to catch and this roadblock of, well, of the Alpine and the Alpha Tauri is not doing him any favours and there's two Alpha Romeos that are also going side by side down towards the Roger Chicane, oh my goodness, oh we don't want to see that after what happened in Tier 1. Oh, scary, scary stuff. Saxa down in the inside of Nemo. This time around, can he make the move stick? No, that outs are reigning supreme. But this will stay to Saxa's advantage. They're rubbing wheels into the second. Lesbo and Oka gets a snap. He won't get the move done once again. And I don't think either of them have DRS. Saxa and Nemo do not have DRS. He can't go anywhere! He's boxed in! He's picked the wrong line, the Aston Martin. And Nemo and Saxa oh, pushing into the And they've both gone off. Oh, ne oh Anders! Anders been caught and in that as well! Oh my goodness, it's all going wrong for the Aston Martin right now. While Mika is on the verge of his maiden, maiden podium here in Tier 2. Ando is struggling in the traffic as Pepsi. He can see that on his, uh, his heads-up display as well. And he can just, just see oh. that Pepsi is getting further and further and further oh. away. I just say that three times, but look at this. Now Ando Top has right. an opportunity, but oh, is it enough? Free wide. Wide. You why know, you don't read about this into turn one combat rat smartly backs out you love to see that some great smart racing and cat might finally get the move on but he's gone deep and through to two but he's got the traction with those soft tires anyone will give way to combat rat as well combat rat having a good space of two sectors right here really pulled it together got that move done and cat might have been able to put anyone under pressure but he's run out of battery and that's cost him some straight line speed 6.9 now seven seconds he had to get that move Aston done. Mons. He needed to get that move done ages ago. Ages ago, yeah. It needed, that needed to be when we were talking about when he wasn't using that ERS. I, it made no sense. No sense why he decided to save it. He had to get within that that DRS range of his teammate of Psycho or Wingman if he wanted any chance of getting that podium place and not losing too many points to Pepsi, who has run away with his three seconds out in front. He has checked out, but Psycho and Wingman 4P2 are battling right now. Avatar and Red Bull, sister teams, but they'll be battling very as much, if they are very much rivals enemies. in the championship. 
as Psycho looks to make amends for what has been a poor run of form. He might be facing a post-race penalty as well for lap one. But to the inside goes the Alpatari and easily makes it past. And now we've got to jump back to the two Alfa Romeos as it's three wide now with Mr. Spicer on the oh. inside. Look at this! Mr. Spicer having a great run of it. And Vassa will back out. He's, oh, he's backed out too much because now Saxa's around the outside of Vassa. He's hit the curb. He's run to Saxa. That's killed his run through turn two. And Saxa has a free position from Vassa being way too cautious. Looks like someone locked up as well. Lots of smoke at that first corner. I dare say that was Combat Rat going a little bit deep as King Jay goes into the pit lane. If you're a Haas fan, I'm sorry. I mean, firstly, why? Uh, secondly... Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, why? I mean, Mick Schumacher, I mean, that's that's a good enough reason in my books. But yeah, King yeah. Jay not having a good race. As Saxa had a little bit of a moment as well coming out of the Della Roja chicane serve. And that has put him under immense pressure from Vassa behind. Uh, yes, uh, you can see a train just extending now. We didn't have a train before, we definitely have a train now. Combat Rat, going to get that move done on Nemo. Those soft tyres. He's gotta gotta get it done sooner rather than later to make to take advantage of them. Meanwhile, Ando Cat up ahead is slowly catching his teammate Mika by about half a tenth per lap by the looks of it, maybe a second a lap. So he's getting a move on now, which he, he needs to do, but uh, it might be a little bit too late. But here comes just a spice up on Combat Rat. Had a good good two sectors, and this will be easy pickings. He might get his teammate as well. If his teammate is compliant, which I think he will, he'll get his teammate as well. They'll box in Combat Rat a fair bit. Now, can they work to, with each other to put Combat Rat behind them? They can. Combat Rat will have to wait one more lap to get Nemo, and Combat Rat just can't get that turn in on him. But Nemo's got some bad traction. Opens up the door for Combat Rat on the run down to the Curva Grande and the Della Roja chicane. But don't forget about Decelerate behind. Decelerate with no ERS, just like Combat Rat both with less than 10%. Decelerate down oh, the inside. Oh, it doesn't matter. The Della Roja. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's he hit the curb. He's hit the curb. Don't tell me he's got full damage. I hope he doesn't. Oh, that would be so unfortunate. No. A little bit of a twitch on the run down the first Lesmo, and Saxon might be licking his lips right about now. Yes, of course, Saxa does still have a time penalty to his name. You can see that with the black and white flag on this timing tower. But the race is starting to really heat up. It's that pressure cooker, Seb, as the laps continue to tick down further and further away from zero and closer to that all-encompassing lap oh. 27. And it's not Nemo. just this. Look at this train. They're so close going through Ascari. Look at Nemo's this. Nemo's really struggling in combat. I just can't get a move done. Decelerate. Decelerate, decelerate, accelerating on the run down to the parabolic. He's got the move done. Combat Rat turns in on him, and that's oh, he's around the Williams he's around. around. Combat Rat is in the mud. He is gone around at the last corner. Williams' hopes of points this race firmly down the drain as the two Alfa Romeos going down at the the main straight now towards the Retafilio chicane side by side. The two of them, they're not back. They're, they're tumbling over each other, Sam. Oh, oh, not. Nuts just gone through crazy move into turn one. He might have just got one of them, Mick. Look at this side by side. If not pulled this off, this would be crazy. Oh, that's right. they're, they're, still oh, they're both it. juicing. They're both juicing. They're both flashing as well. It's a drag race through the curve of Grande, but it's a Grande move. What a move for the McLaren. Oh, it's it's not, done. But it's, it's not done. done yet. Look at this. Decelerate down the inside. That's an absolute sin from both drivers. Starting to turn one. Decelerate into turn four. This race is going up a couple of notches past 11 at the moment. Whoa, wouldn't read about it. Anna Cat slowly catching his teammate once again. Got to keep an eye on that gap because that is very crucial for Anna Cat to get a podium in this race. Saxa getting past Nemo now on the run down to the Ascari chicane. And Vash is going to try That's combat. Here. Combat rat off at the first Lesmo as well. Williams' woes get from bad to worse as he is well and truly out of the points now, unless there is a safety car in the final five, la yes, five laps left of this extremely entertaining race. And I have absolutely no idea what this finishing order is going to be. It's safe to assume that Pepsi is going to take the checkered flag in first, barring any major uh, incident on, on his own part. But the rest of this grid, I have absolutely no idea, Seb. No idea either, it's all kicking off and we've still got five laps to go not having a look around the outside of the cellar right nothing coming to fruition Ooh, they've but, touched. oh my god oh my goodness they're absolutely killing those curbs at the end of turn one and turn four curbs the cellar not do not care that they exist they will hop over them and risk getting that four damage 
just for a three tenth gain or two tenth gain in that one lap. All right, I think we have missed Psycho getting past Wingman. Have we missed that? No, he's been he's been there for quite a while now, doing well to uh, hold off the pressure from the Red Bull behind him. Uh, showing some decent speed as well, but yes, that gap between uh, Ando and Mika, the two Aston Martins, has now decreased to 2.8 seconds, but I dare fear, Seb, that it was too little too late to salvage any kind of podium hopes, unless these uh, these penalties do indeed stay for the, uh, the two Honda-powered cars in front of them. Oh. He's going to hope that he can push a little bit more out of that Aston Martins. That, that gap is not coming down fast enough for him. Uh, I think it's a day late and a dollar short, as Martin Brundle would say. Yellow flag sector two, that's the, sorry, sector three. Dead Accelerate is around out of the Parabolica. So, Warren Ty is seeing the Alpha Romeo go around in, in Alpha Romeo in real life. Final races for Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi. So, fortunate to see them go, but... Oh, and he picks up a speeding ticket for, <laughs> as the cherry on top of what has been yeah. a miserable lap 23 for the Alfa Romero, but he has a chance to steal that fastest lap, which, if I can get my buttons correct, is currently held by our race leader, 1 minute 22.503. Um, actually, only about a tenth uh, between himself and King J uh, at the moment. Yeah, our race leader is in another dimension at the moment, so uh, maybe King J can come in again, try and steal that fastest lap away from him and make sure he doesn't get that extra point that is uh, given to the fastest lap driver that finishes in the top 10. But, uh, or if they finish in the top 10, I should say. Right, now everything seems a bit stagnant. We may not really make a move on Psycho. Vassa might be trying to go for Nemo in the next couple of laps, but we do have th oh, two, three... Just under three laps remaining, and uh, Pepsi looks the likely winner at the moment, but uh, uh, still a little bit to play for for that pole position right now. Mika just flirting with that three-second window to Wingman and Psycho. And actually, uh, they, they both have six and ten-second penalties, so I don't, it doesn't even matter. I mean, they just have to make sure that they lose as little time as possible, because it's still... It's still a very decent finishing position, even with those penalties, because they are just so far mm -hmm. out in front from Mr. Spicer, who has, in fact, broken, uh, broken away from uh, Saxa. Mr. Spicer has broken away from Saxa uh, quite considerably, actually, considering how close mm -hmm. that train was about five laps ago, sir. So. Yeah, well, he's done a good job. It, it's just like Anika, he kind of got caught in that train, but the, the, you expect him where he was. He's done a very good job just to claw his way back up into P6. Gets eight points for Alpine and move on to Russia next week. But uh, it looks like we're going to get a double podium for Aston Martin here. 33 points to them versus 26. You know, they cut down that championship lead that Ferrari have in Tier 2 by seven points. So down to five points. So, well, uh, we are seeing that in the real life as well, that the Constructors' Championship is really coming down to the second drivers. Sergio Perez not having the season he would have hoped for in his maiden Red Bull season. And Bottas, well, he's been at the team since 2017. He's made over 100 starts now. This will be his 101st and final start for Mercedes in a few hours' time. And one of the most consistent qualifiers I have ever seen. I think the sport has ever seen yeah. as well. Yeah, and he's had a tough time at... um. Mercedes, uh, I said, it sounds tough, you're driving Mercedes, but um, when you think about it, you come against Lewis Hamilton and you are, uh, well, you've kind of had to play second field to him and you can't ask questions, you just have to do it, and he has sucked it up and uh, I'm happy for him, he's got, he's got a seat secured for next season and the season after and he can just enjoy his uh, time in F1 for the time being. Meanwhile, back to this race, the two Aston Martins, now within striking range of each other now i'm sure pondon if he's managing these two will make sure oh wingman's ran wingman's ran he's out the race oh he's wingman's gone to that oh no on with less than two laps to go with two laps to go he's done it he's bottled it wingman no points for the red bulls no wow points for red bulls no points in tier two constructors no points in the combined constructors my oh my, that is absolutely crazy. And now Andocat will get that move done on his teammate. 
And he looks to try and keep within that six second gap of Psycho. There's about a second to play with right there between the two. And Psycho, six second time penalty. And it's the final lap of the race mix. So all comes out of this. Can make a keep within that DRS range. Oh, sorry, that six second gap as well. Looks like he's just flooding with it. That's a three second buffer right there between 6.7 seconds and 13.3 seconds to lead it for the pair. Yeah, the two Aston Martins definitely have to go full hammer mode. It's hammer time for those two uh, at the last time of asking. But we're now looking at what has been a very, very dominant drive in front of the Tafosi. It's Apollo Pepsi going through the Ascari Chicane one final time. I mean, he drove perfectly. Like, th there's no, yeah, no question. No other way around it. Yeah, absolutely perfect. He did everything that he needed to do. He was losing grip on that championship trophy after a very, very nice start to the season. But as he rounds the final corner now, he, the Tafosi can now celebrate as Pepsi has won the Italian Grand Prix here at Monza for Ferrari. And he will take the full 26 points with that fastest lap as well. Now has uh, oh. Psycho done enough to hold on to that podium place? It's going to be close, no. but I don't think so. Psycho is on the podium. He almost got that runners up spot as well. One tenth in it between himself and Ando. But Ando will line up on, a... on that uh, runners up spot. And Psycho completes the podium as Mika will have to settle for fourth place. Uh, Sa uh, Mr. Spicer and Nemo are actually fifth and sixth for the two Alpines. What a result for them, Seb. Absolutely phenomenal for those two. Saxer in seventh. Nut will score a couple, well, a few points in eighth place after his spin. Vasa in ninth and King J actually, yes, King J will take that hey, final that's, point. That's why you stick with it. <laughs> it's a pretty uh, annoying point, but he's he's still got a point for the Haas team, so uh, kudos to him for sticking with it. But uh, Mika just missing out on that uh, first podium. That's uh, off the season. Has to wait another day. Has to wait another day. Indeed, Psycho, another podium to his name. Ando Cat Lucky, I, I think he is uh, very, very, very lucky to uh, be able to uh, sit right next to Pepsi on the podium. But uh, the championship leader takes that momentum back. And uh, he's looking forward to Russia, I think. Yes, we head to the Sochi Autodrome next week for round number 16 now. Jeez, we are so deep into the season now but here we go pepsi on the top step recording it so he doesn't forget this momentous win i mean winning <laughs> at, at monza for ferrari in front of the tofosi i mean it doesn't get much better than that sir it doesn't and considering this is a track he has somewhat struggled with um yeah he's, he's pulled it out I wouldn't say he's pulled the rabbit out of the house because he has had the pace over this 2-2 field, but he's done what he's needed to do, and he's got that crucial race win. And uh, as I said, pulled points away from Andocat. So like I said, as he crossed the line, Pepsi, full 26 with that fastest lap of 122.503. Andocat will have to settle for second best, but he probably won't be too displeased with that after how qualifying went and as well as being stuck in that traffic. Psycho rounds out the podium for the time being for the AlphaTauri. Great drive, third to third. Uh, great drive from the South African. And Mika, unfortunately, missing out on his maiden, uh, maiden podium by just under a second. Uh, Mr. Spicer and Nemo, the two Alpines, 5th and 6th, a very, very nice result for them. Saxer in 7th, Nut in 8th, Vassar in 9th, and King J uh, with that final point uh, place. We lost two drivers, well, three drivers this race. Two were not classified, uh, those being Bandcamp and Kalios, with the wingman unfortunately crashing out with only two and a third laps to go. Now, unfortunately, Seb, I mean, I'd love to stick here and chat, but... Uh, <laughs> That's all the time we have for. Uh, this That's all the time we have for indeed. Until next week. Until next week. But uh, big night. Big, big night. And um, um, I don't know who to pick between the two. I, your, what are your predictions? I, I am, at this point, I don't know who's going to go to. Yes, I mean, we are, history awaits. We've seen that hashtag <laughs> thrown around social, uh, social media for the past week. The second time in its history that the formula one world drivers title has been tied on points uh going into the final round of the race we've had a couple of one point gaps two point gaps um but only once before i believe in i want to say 74 
maybe. I don't know. Something like that. In the in the seventies. Give, give or take. Give or take. Yeah, Emerson of Fittipaldi, his world driver's title there, um, taken at the last race. So enjoy that one, ladies and gentlemen. That starts in just over two hours time. That's at midnight for those of you on the uh, Eastern Daylight Time, for those of you in Sydney or Melbourne and Tasmania as well. Um, and that, uh, well, I have absolutely no idea what time that is in Europe, but, uh, you know, that doesn't really matter. We're an Australian league. All Aussie pride, <laughs> of course. Uh, with uh, Oscar Piastri uh, taking the F2 man. title as well. But AFR will be back, hopefully. I mean, fingers crossed, this hasn't been confirmed yet, but Friday series will be making its return very, very soon uh, as the uh, new batch of F2 cars have been released, even though it's just a livery update, let's be honest, as they are the same cars as last year. But, you know, it's uh, always nice to have that Friday series. That will be at 8.30 if it happens on Friday evenings for those of you in uh, Sydney, Melbourne, or Hobart, or anyone in that time zone. And then, of course, it will be hopefully Baitmate back uh, with Bandcamp for Tier 3 at 5.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time on next Sunday for the Russian Grand Prix around the Sochi Autodrome. Any shout-outs before we end stream here tonight, Seb? Uh, apart from T Mac, no. Shout out to T Mac. Yeah, shout out T Mac. Uh, yeah, good job. Uh, unfortunate, but uh. Quick F in the quick F in the chat as yeah, well. F in the chat for T Mac as well. That's all the time we have for today. Uh, enjoy the race and remember to be respectful to your fellow F1 fans and uh, always remember to uh, <laughs> wear, uh, wear your seatbelt. Always wear your seatbelt. Don't drink while you drive as well.